Support has come for the Nathan Cotson trained Royal Victory in the Grade 1 Whirlpool Premier's Champions Challenge over 2,000 metres on Saturday at Turfentine. That said, there's not much between the top five in the betting. Royal Victory, Puerto Manzano, Cousin Casey, Dave the King and Winchester Mansion, who are all jostling for position. Royal Victory put up a superb effort to win the Grade 1 Betway Summer Cup over the same course and distance of 2,000 metres at the end of November last year. Royal Victory's coming on strongly in the closing stages and Royal Victory's burst through! Royal Victory wins the Betway Summer Cup! I've always thought a lot of him from day one. Um, looking at the price, you know, no one seemed to um, think uh, he could do it, but I always had the confidence in him. Leading into that race, he had three runs in a space of six weeks, with a six-week break before winning Haarfeld's premier race. This time round, he's had just one run with a seven-week break when crossing the line two lengths behind Imi Lenze Yokoduduma in a non-black type over 1,500 metres at Hollywood Bet Scottsville in February. Emma Lenze Yokoduduma now comes bursting through. Cyber time, Royal Victory, but Emma Lenze Yokoduduma is on his way for glory. Narina Tragon second, Royal Victory, a cracking comeback. Royal Victory has drawn well at three. Cousin Casey has run four times for new stable of Sean Terry, making his debut when half a length second in the Grade 2 Allied Steel Road on a Mission Charity Mile. Dave the King 250 out, has Cousin Casey to deal with, has Puerto Manzano to deal with, has Winchester Mansion to deal with, Puerto Manzano, Bingwood to the outside, Cousin Casey whacking away, Puerto Manzano has absolutely got a love affair with Turfontaine. Puerto Manzano wins from Cousin Casey, bless my stars, big run Winchester Mansion in behind. It was a fine win by top weight Puerto Manzano and a good run from Winchester Mansion who crossed the line just over a length back and forth as the Betway Summer Cup was four weeks away on the 25th of November. But all three ran down the order in the Grade 1, with Safe Passage, who was five and three quarter lengths behind Poeta Manzano in the Charity Mile, popping up to run second and two and a quarter lengths behind surprise winner Royal Victory. Safe Passage with 150 to go. Royal Victory is right there as well. Royal Victory's coming home strongly in the closing stages. And Royal Victory's burst through. Royal Victory wins the Betway Summer Cup from Safe Passage. Bless my stars, Zeus was behind that. Three of the first four in Royal Victory, Safe Passage and Zeus will once again line up over the same course and distance. Going back to cousin Casey, he reappeared in a pinnacle stakes nine weeks later on February the 3rd this year when going 1400 metres at Turfentine. The race was won by sprinter Mala Unzen, who was in receipt of 10 kgs, with good prep runs for the autumn season, coming from Dave the King, Cousin Casey and Puerto Manzano, who filled the places, but were clearly looking for further. Towards the outside, but Unzen travels smartly with 150 to go. It's still three lengths clear, and it's going to be Unzen. Unzen from Cousin Casey and Dave the King. Unzen has run them ragged. Unzen beats home Dave the King. Cousin Casey third, fourth to Puerto Manzano. Safe Passage and Son of Raj were further adrift, eight and nine lengths off the winner. A month later, on March the 2nd, and their last race ahead of the Whirlpool Premier's Champions Challenge, Cousin Casey once again made the frame in the Grade 1 Wilkeborstrift HF Oppenheimer Horse Chestnut Stakes, this time over the mile. The race was won by main defender, with Dave the King crossing the line in second, Cousin Casey in fourth, Son of Raj in fifth and Poeta Manzano in sixth, with Safe Passage tailed off. 150 to go, Dave the King, main defender down the inside is running home strongly. The three-year-old main defender has kicked into top gear and here is main defender pulling clear to win the group one. Main defender has gone on to be Dave the King, Princess Kala, Son of Raj and in behind that came Cousin Casey. Whilst Cousin Casey's run in the Grade 1 Betway Summer Cup over the same course and distance was all wrong, several of the fancied runners had to deal with the same fate. His two runs since have been all class. 
Cousin Casey will jump from a wide gate of 13 in a field of 14 runners, but has regular jockey Grant Van Niekirk in the irons, who knows him well. On the other hand, Dave the King jumps from pole position and looks cherry ripe. He may have found the 2200 of the Hollywood Bets Durban July a touch far when finishing five and a half lengths off Winchester Mansion. But the 2000 is within his grasp, having run See It Again to the line in the Grade 1 Daily News 2000 over champion season last year. See It Again, Dave the King, without question, and then came Cousin KC. He's a front runner with a big action, but has learned to settle since being gilded. Poeta Manzano has bumped Cousin Casey in all four of his last runs. He beat Cousin Casey by half a length in the Grade 2 Allied Steel Road on a mission charity mile, was four and a half lengths off Royal Victory in the Betway Summer Cup, with Cousin Casey a further five lengths back was then fourth and less than a length behind Cousin Casey in the Wilkobosdruf Pinnacle Stakes. And last time out when going the mile, finished quite some distance off the winner, main defender, whilst Cousin Casey crossed the line in fourth. Puerto Manzano is a turpentine specialist, particularly over the mile. Despite the extra 400 meters here, he's a wily and game campaigner and can never be left out. He will jump from gate five. Since winning the Grade 1 Hollywood Bets Durban July last year, Winchester Mansion has had just two races. He crossed the line in fourth and a length behind Puerto Manzano in the Grade 2 Allied Steel Road on a mission charity mile. A month later, at the end of November, he was four lengths adrift in eighth behind Royal Victory in the Betway Summer Cup. He's not been out in the six months since. Winchester Mansion will have to overcome his fairly wide draw of 10. 14 runners will go to post in the Grade 1 Whirlpool Premier's Champions Challenge. It's carded as race 9 and goes off at 16.45.